know, you know, Jake? Now you see. I, I thought I'd discovered Jake. And uh, Jake, you've got lots of fans. Jake has taken this uh, obscure little instrument called the ukulele and elevated it to high art. Jake. Well, first of all, I just want to say aloha. I was born and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii, and my mom played the ukulele. And when I was about four years old, she put, placed this instrument in my hands, and uh, I just never put it down after that. The um, ukulele is probably the underdog of all instruments. And I have this crazy idea that the ukulele will change the world. I've always believed that it's the instrument of peace because if everyone played it, this world would be a better place. So before I begin playing, I just want to share a little bit of what I, what I started out doing with this instrument, you know, I started out playing a lot of traditional Hawaiian music, which sounds like this. That's what the ukulele sounds like, right? And then when I was a teenager, I started experimenting with different styles of music. And those three chords became things like So, today, I'm going to explore different styles of music and just show you the possibilities of this amazing four-string, two-octave instrument from Hawaii. And this first number that I'm going to open up with is a flamenco ukulele piece. It's a song I call Let's Dance, and I composed this piece a few years ago just to show the aggressive style of the ukulele.
Thank you very much. You know, it's such an honor to be here and to be performing in such a gorgeous hall. Uh, I'd like to sh share another song with you, and this is another piece um, that I wrote a few years ago. And this is a song, actually probably more the, the gentle, sensitive side of the ukulele. It's a song called Blue Roses Falling. And it's a song that I wrote for a friend of mine whose grandmother was very ill, and she was in the hospital. And while she was there, she, she, would, she was under a lot of medication, and she would ha see these, um, have these visions of blue roses on the ceiling of her bed. And at night, the petals would fall on top of her. And I thought this was such a beautiful vision that I, it inspired me to write this piece. And uh, I hope you enjoy this. Here's Blue Roses Falling.
Thank you so much. I'm going to perform one more song here, and this is actually a song that there was a video clip of me performing this piece in Central Park a few years ago, and it's amazing what YouTube and the internet can do because uh, this little four minute video clip over the last few years now has received about five and a half million downloads, and it's allowed me to tour the world and record and perform with people like Yo Yo Ma, Bette Midler, Jimmy Buffett, Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones, and recently I even perform for the Queen of England. You know? And the best part about being a touring ukulele player is that, you know, everyone that comes to the sh that sees you play has such low expectations of the music that it's, you know, it's... So, uh... Here's one of my favorite songs, a song written by the great George Harrison, who was also an ukulele enthusiast. Here is uh, George Harrison's While My Guitar Gently Weeps. My name is Jake Shimabukuro. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Thank you, Moses. Thank you so much. Here we go.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Ukuleles will change the world. That's right. If I can wear an Olympic medal. <laughs> Is this like a Stradivarius of ukuleles? I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah? It was all made in Hawaii. Yeah. So Handmade? Yes. One of? Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Lara St. John's got her fiddle in my dressing room, and, uh, and it's only valued at a million and a half. <laughs> Oh. Well, thank you very much. It's magnificent. Much. It certainly takes a pounding from you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. It was truly an honor. Thank you very much. Thank you.